What's up, Stitches? All right. So, it's been a little bit. I'm going to show you all of the works that I finished recently. All right. First, we are going... Where did it go? Okay, haha. -ha. We are going to start with... I named him Cla I named them Claude. This is Claude. Claude is an emotional support octopus. Claude is non-binary. Their pronouns are they, them. Thank you for normalizing pronouns, Claude. We appreciate you. Super easy pattern. Claude here is actually the first time I've ever put safety eyes on something. And honestly, it was so much easier than I thought it would be. I'm obsessed now. All right. Then I have finished. I started and finished the Barricade Bralette. I got this pattern from Ravelry. It's super cute. Um, let's see here. All right. I'm not going to like fully put it on because, well, you know, hi. All right. So it's got a cute little cut out here. This goes around your back. I obviously haven't fully, fully put everything in. The yarn that I used is a DK weight from Speckled Finch Studios from their Yarn Bliss box. Super cute. And honestly, this was a really quick and easy make. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. Then, also with some DK yarn from Speckled Finch Studios, I made the Waffles the Kitty Beanie. It's a kitty beanie, and as you can see, it's got that beautiful waffle stitch texture. I also recently got in a Temu haul, I'd gotten these super cute little tags that say Handmade with Love that I put on it. All right. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I did not show this yet. So this is from the Gothic Garden Halfway to Halloween box from Fangirl Fibers. These are the two DK white yarns that came in it. We have the variegated is called Haunted Petals. The purple is called Gothic Garden. And it came with the pattern. The pattern here is the KBB Cowl by Not Bad Brit, available on Ravelry. Super cute, super easy to follow pattern. Legit, the thing I love about this is I never would have put these two colors together. But to be completely honest, I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. All right. <clears throat> this is actually a top that I made all by my lonesome. Again, I am not going to fully fix it because, well, you know, I don't edit my stuff. I try to, you know, be as authentically awkward and geeky and myself as possible. But basically, what I did was I made two triangles, granny square, put, attach those together. Then I did to go all the way around, I did little granny squares. Each granny square is four rounds. And basically, I then just did chains for the straps and laced it up in the back. I need to lace it up better so that I can actually like wear it. But unfortunately, I can't lace it by myself. And I don't have anybody here right now that can get, could give me a hand with that so that I could give you a better view of it. But this is the first pattern that I have ever come up with completely on my own. Let me know what you guys think of it. And if you would like me to do a tutorial for it and write and release a pattern for it because I'm completely willing. All right. Now, this, this right here, this is a pattern from Yarnspirations. Let me see if I've got it available here where I can kind of show you. No, I don't have it right there. Okay. I think I've got it on this one though. That's literally like an old phone that doesn't even work. 
All right, let's see here. Yes. Okay. This is the Wavy Granny Crochet Blanket from Yarnspirations.com. When it was originally released, it was using the Karen Tea Cakes. Unfortunately, the yarn that I had originally bought for it, I ended up losing some of it. Long story. But this is Karen Spice Cakes. The color that I chose is Indiegogo. I actually originally bought this yarn to do the um, Wolf Tooth Blanket Crochet Long with Alt Knots last fall. And honestly, it's a beautiful blanket, but I personally was not vibing with the stitch. So I decided to, because it was five cakes as well, I decided to make this with it. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna do come back over here as best I can to show you guys. All right. So, as you can see, it's as long as my wingspan. It is wide enough that it covers me. It goes from here to cover my feet. But, literally guys, just, Look at the colors, look at the texture. I've been crocheting for 20 something years and this is literally the first type of chevron blanket I've ever made. And honestly, I love it. This is so nice and warm because you know, I mean, it is the nicer weather and stuff and I haven't had to put, I haven't had to put my AC in yet. I have been sleeping at night with my windows open. But of course, because this is New England and the temperatures do drop a little bit at night, it does get a little bit cool with the fresh air. So honestly, the past couple nights since I finished this, I've been curling up under this and going to sleep. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Okay, let's see. What else do I have here for you? Oh, okay, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Strap in, girls. I am currently doing three pattern tests because legit, I am the original chaotic spastic chupacabra. I am working on a pattern test for, hold on. All right, let's see here. Where are my files? Perfect. Okay, I am working on a pattern test for the blue bell wrap top. I'm working on it, working on it in an adult size. The yarn that I have chosen for it, I am using. I purchased it from Boston Fiber Company. This is the main color for the top. I'm like in love with it. This is the cake that I'm already using, obviously. But <clears throat> here it is in full Hank form. Look at how gorgeous this is. This is the color Neon Rainbow by East Coast Yarn Company. Um, it is a fingering weight, um, 80-20 um, superwash merino and nylon. There are 450 yards and 100 grams in each hank. It sells for $28 at bostonfibercompany.com. Then for the trim for the top, I have this beautiful $34, 50 gram hank of Lace weight, kid mohair silk, 7280, one ply, 459 yards. This colorway is called Needy, and this is by Melanated Boho Babe. Look at how freaking gorgeous this is. And like, legit, look at the two of them together. This shirt is going to be stunning. Absolutely stunning. Stunning. All right. Let's see. What else am I working on here? Where is it? Okay. 
I am working on the foxglove dress for another designer. I am for that, I am using discontinued Karen Skinny Cakes. The color I'm using for that one is Lime Twist. And then I am also doing, if I can find it here. Oh wait, nope, that's the one that's in my messages. I am also doing another dress for another designer. It is a really cute beach dress, beach cover-up dress. It's gonna be, it's all granny stitch. And that I am doing a, also in the Karen Skinny Cakes. I am doing that in the color spectrum. Again, unfortunately, it is a yarn that is discontinued, but it's absolutely beautiful. I'm literally just having so much fun. Also, I am currently completely caught up on my temperature blanket for the year. Like literally this morning, I caught up and I did Friday and yesterday. So my temperature blanket right now is currently completely up to date, which honestly, I feel so accomplished for that because I literally like when I first started it, I literally did like the first 21 days of the month in one shot first 21 days of the year rather in one shot and then legit it kind of sat there from January 21st all the way until about two or three weeks ago and then I picked it up I mean I'd been key I had been consistently where's my notebook I had consistently here in my notebook been keeping track of all of my temperatures and everything I've got see Temperature blanket. I have each color listed, the temperature range that that goes for. I had January. Then we went to February, March, April, May. And now here we are June. And as you can see, the last date I have a temperature here for is the 17th. Today is the 18th. And as you can see, I do have a square around the temperature, which means I've done it. So I'm like super proud of that. Another thing that I'm, I'm keeping track of right now, first and foremost, I am going to get the yarn to do it, but there's this girl on TikTok. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to remember what her name is. Hold on. All right. Welcome back to Surprise Song O'Clock. Allegedly, Aaron Dessner was escorted backstage. Allegedly, I... Okay. Her username on TikTok is Kira Crochets, and that's K-Y-R-A, and then the word crochets, all together as one word, okay? So, she is doing a blanket for the Eras tour, where every night Taylor does two songs that are not on the um, regular set list. So they're the surprise songs. So basically the whole thing to do for this is I have so far, I have a list of all the Taylor song, Swift albums. I've picked out colors for each one of them. And then I have going in order so far, It goes one more page. I have every surprise song Taylor has performed and the name of the about the name of the album that it's from. I am going to do it as a granny square blanket where I'm going to do one round for each song. So it's going to go in order from the first surprise song she did on the tour to the last surprise song she does on the Eras tour. I need to get I need to get yarn for it and everything, but that's just something like really cool that I'd really really want to do. So All right, guys. I feel like I've babbled at you long enough tonight. I hope you guys have an awesome night or day wherever it is. 
whether it is summer or winter in wherever you are in the world. I hope you have an awesome day or night. Know that you are loved, know that you are worthy, and keep stitching.